am I rolling? Is this thing on? I can't tell because I've got my winter gloves on. So, this is a bit of a random video. No intro, just jump straight into it. We are, I say we because I've got my my friend from college. We're, I don't go to college anymore, but I messaged him the other day because I want to go look at a bike. And I'm going to stop talking until we get out of these fucking lights because you don't want to listen to me sat here talking to myself, not moving. Yeah. What a legend. This should be interesting. I can't feel anything with these gloves. They're amazing for the winter. Because it's absolutely freezing cold. But um I can't feel what I'm doing with them. We are on the Grom, we're not on the R3. Because obviously I'm getting ready to sell that thing. So I don't want to put too many miles on it, so I, and the Grom has a, a much better uh miles to the gallon so it was a perfect little trip and my mates on a 125 so I thought might as well take the Grom out it is a long ride it's a two and a half hour ride pretty much I said two hours to him but <laughs> just just to get him on board I wanted the Ninja 300 guy to come I even sent him a voice message saying if he comes I'll buy him a Big Mac the new Big Mac for 50 years or whatever it is for the Big Macs but he didn't turn up so fucking <laughs> And I'll watch this video and comment something smart ass. I probably won't talk for a mark for the little because I can't talk English. Probably won't talk that much. Probably just, just put some music to it and make it into a little funny montage video thing for you guys to watch. So that's what I was doing. That's the little intro for you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free and it takes you about five seconds to just click that button. So that's all it is. And uh, we need to be that way. And I will see you if something happens in yep. Bye. I'm gonna overtake a truck. <laughs> this thing's got power. I'm being attacked by my hoodie. Ah, you know when you got a bit of like the string of a hoodie? Ah, it's smacking me in the neck. Speed camera. No way, it's still 37 minutes. Oh, oh it's such a big roundabout for the little grom. Ah, oh, 71, 72. I think there's a cop behind me, otherwise I would tuck. 73 miles an hour, 74! Come on, Rory! Come on! I'm top speed in a Grom right now! miles an hour on a Grom. How about that? Stop gearing as well, mine. I can't believe all the people I'm overtaking. Oh, it's chilly. I'll stay in this dealers for a bit, warm up, and then fucking head back. Do a couple of stops on the way back. It's probably going to piss down, but hey ho. Oh, here we go again. Jack, I might take the motorway back. Oh, there's a petrol station. I'll stop off of that, grab some fuel. Because I need the fuel. Oops. 
what the fuck? Ooh. Right, so I just dropped my phone, cracked it a, a little bit, but that's okay. It already had a nice crack for it, so I ain't too fast. Um, but my phone had died. Lucky enough, I bought a power pack. Not sure how long it's going to last, but I found out I'm only two, mile, uh, two minutes away, so I'm not far. Lucky enough, I did actually pull in here because it was I was about to take the third exit. Uh, yeah, the third exit, which would have been down there, but I need to take the third exit now, which is over there, which would have been my first exit, if that makes sense. Right. Because I was going to carry on the Northamptonshire, I would have ended up on the motorway. So we're not far now. My feet are still frozen solid and painful. But I've got a full, fuel t <laughs> I've got a full tank of fuel. Two minutes away. Telling me to turn left. What? There? You mad? Oh. Billy eight fucking sat naps, man. I've done like a hundred miles today on a bloody grom, and that's only here. I would have done about. I've done about. By the time I finished and got home, I would have done about 200 miles in the winter, freezing cold. 200 miles in a day. Ain't bad for a bike. Come on, Subaru. You got a freezing cold biker back here, whose left foot is now in quite a lot of pain. Come on, dude. Dude, come on. It's somewhere around here. I see bikes. Hey, somehow I need to get over to it. Hey, hey, I made it. Hey, 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 look at all them. I'm sure they won't mind if I park here somewhere. Out of the way. Right, let's get in there and have a look at some bikes. A few moments later. I think the next time I'll be back here. I'll be buying the bike. <laughs> I fell in love with it. I couldn't film in there. Uh, the guys are really nice in there. But then they've got this little, uh, is it called Skins? A little motorcycle cafe right next door. So I sat in there to warm up for a little bit. This guy loved the Grom. He was like, what is that? I told him I'd ride, ridden 80 miles to get up here on the, <laughs> on the little Grom. But um, I'm really close to Silverstone. I'm nine minutes away from Silverstone. So I'm going to head over to, over to that and uh, See if I can take a look at it because I think that's pretty cool and then head back. It's about two hours back I'm gonna see if I can get on the motorway and just bomb it at 70 But yeah, that the, I, I'm, I'm in love with the bike. I'm absolutely in love I've put the, I literally sat in that calf and put my R3 up straight for sale All Right, let's go. Let's go see uh, Silverstone shall we? Sat love's not talking to me why is my sat nav not talking to me? Hey, all the little kids love the fucking grom. <laughs> hey, all the kids love it. Right, <laughs> got to talk to me again. This has been a. I'm not moving, woman racist little whatever it is oh you have to repeat that woman I completely forgot what you said sat in that little calf some three guys came in and they uh they're talking about motor racing and all sorts talking about Charlie Borman and Hugh McGregor and I said I wanted to like join in because I knew exactly what they were talking about Just Mr. Sign is in welcome to Silverstone. Here it is. Silverstone. Hey! Welcome to Silverstone, the home of motor racing. Welcome to Silverstone. Ah, oh, how far can I drive up there? Without getting bollocked. Oh no! Oh I, I, I need to go that way, but I need to go up there, but look, it says Silverstone, I, I need to go through that.
sick. Oh, it's all closed off, but look at that. That's awesome. Look. That's mint. That is Silverstone. I made it to Silverstone from Bath to Silverstone on a bloody grom. <laughs> right, they're loving that, working on the. Let's get a picture. Working on the bloody track. That's awesome. So uh, I've enabled uh, motorways. So I gotta take the grom on a motorway, which is gonna be fun. I gotta go up that other little bit. <laughs> 16, let's go! Look at this Ferrari they've got up here. I know this is going to be really gloomy and horrible, but still, this is awesome for me. Welcome to Silverstone. I'm just going to drive through here like I own the place. Look at the Ferrari. Oh, that's cool. Look at the fucking Lotuses. Oh, it's because they got Lotus Silverstone. That's so sick, guys. <laughs> that is so sick. Right, let's head home. I'm cold. Thank you very much. Oh, what a trip this has been. Here we go. Hit it. On the motorway, boys. <laughs> I narrowly missed that fucking pothole. That pothole would have ended my life. I don't think so. Holy shit. Oh my god. There we go. That's better. Oh my god, the wind is ridiculous. Come on, little girl, we can do this. If only I had a drone or something to show you a third person view of me, because I'd fucking love to see that too. There's this tiny little bike on the motorway just tucking down, pinning it. Grom. Watch this overtake. Pin it. Look at it go. Full tuck. Come on, we're gonna hit 70. There it is. Holy shit, look at that fucking thing. God damn. Um, 
going over. Wham! This is how you travel in style. Sod going on the motorway on a Ferrari. Sod it on a BMW S1000 double R. Take a grum, redline it for a fucking two and a half hours. <laughs> Oh, a legend. 